You know, sometimes you hear about a bike trail and then you get there and discover there's no town. Few signs of civilization. And it isn't really a bike trail at all. Then you look around and see no trespassing signs. Private property, keep out. And something gives you this really weird feeling that you're being watched from behind the trees. And the further you pedal, the more convinced you become that you could meet a new friend at any moment. Perhaps one that you don't want to meet. Okay, so that was just slightly exaggerated, okay? Stick around for a very different experience this time on Joyful Trails. Eventually, you're gonna see me travel through beautiful landscapes like this, but it's gonna take a few minutes to get there. My day began in the Mountain Inn and Suites in Irwin, Tennessee. I fashioned myself a sausage and egg bagel with some apple juice down at the Continental Breakfast. By the way, what kind of scam is Continental Breakfast anyway? Don't they know that we know that they just add $5 to the price of the room? And what's so Continental about it anyway? But after I downed that bagel, I was on the road again, headed towards Roan Mountain, Tennessee. I stopped at a rest area and Dolly was there to greet me, so I knew it was gonna be a good day. Her personality's not quite the same in person. I was expecting her to be more animated. She was a little stiff, to be honest. So all trails told me about this trail called the Old Railroad Grade Road, near Roan Mountain, Tennessee. Now, I've heard some bad trail names before, but Old Railroad Grade Road? Are you kidding me? So I get there, and I look around, and there's no town. None. All I knew is that I was somewhere near Roan Mountain, Tennessee, and that I had little to no cell service. My trusty All Trails app took me to this bumpy gravel parking lot adjacent to somebody's private garden. <laughs> yeah, this was not your typical trailhead. But I did see a sign nearby that said Doe River Fishing Trail. So I thought, well, I must be in the right place. And turns out the Doe River was the first thing I saw when I left that gravel parking lot. Beautiful mountain river. So the reason this thing is called a road and not a trail is because it's a road and not a trail. It's on the All Trails app, but this is a road that is still used and there are houses all up and down the road. People live here. And even though it appears to be a narrow one lane road, cars and trucks meet one another. They just have to sort of each pull off to the side and squeeze past each other. I saw it happen with my own eyes. And I may or may not have had a head-on collision with an automobile myself. More about that later. Stay tuned. But as I began to ride this trail, I immediately felt uneasy. It really felt like it could be bear country. And that's something I generally never think or worry about. Usually I'm on a well-traveled river walk or greenway and bears are not exactly top of mind, as they say. I saw some bear spray for sale at a Dick's Sporting Goods one time and I thought, hey, maybe I should get some, but the price tag was a little steep and so I did my best Dr. Evil impersonation and I said, how about no? But you know what I did have with me? My trusty dog horn that is supposed to cause vicious dogs to stop in their tracks. Does it work? I don't know. I just bought it off Amazon one time. I've never had to use it. So there I was on the old railroad grade road with my trusty dog horn in hand, hoping that it would scare the bejeebers out of any bear that tried to take a bite out of my backside. Of course, no one knew where I was that day. True to form, 
As is my custom, I had informed no one of my whereabouts. You see, in this season of my life, I am uh, pretty spontaneous, pretty footloose and fancy free. I'm pretty nimble on my feet. I don't have to ask permission before I go places. And so no one knew where I was. And I literally sent this text to a family member just before I left to go out on the trail. Well, I do discover beautiful mountain scenery and great views of the Doe River eventually. But will I be shot by a mountaineer who thinks I may be trespassing on his property? Will I be eaten by a pack of wolves? For the answers to these and other questions, stick around, my friend. But first, we've got a trail to ride. It's the old railroad grade road near Roan Mountain, Tennessee. Grab your bear spray and let's go.
Stick around for our exclusive Joyful Trails star rating. That's coming up, but first, a little bit more about this trail. One of the first things I came to was a cemetery. That's always fun. It looked like this one had been there for a while, so I decided to keep a distance. And then another cemetery. I never saw any bears, but there were some angry dogs that barked a lot from behind fences, and I did actually make a couple of friends from the animal kingdom. Say hello to this guy, and to this guy. I made some human friends as well, met up with two couples on e-bikes. I should have taken a picture and gotten their names, but hindsight is 2020. We ended up stopping and talking about e-bikes and bike trails in general and 360 cameras and such for about 15 or 20 minutes. You meet the nicest people when you're out on a bike ride. Once I got out of the part of the trail that felt like bear country, there really was some gorgeous scenery to be enjoyed. The Doe River is never far from this trail with the soothing sounds of water rushing over the rocks in a very natural setting. It appears that this area has not been tampered with for commercial purposes. If you like your nature served up the old-fashioned way, then get yourself to Roan Mountain. But the definite highlight for me is this stretch that appears to be cut directly out of solid rock. It's beautiful, it's fun to ride through, and it felt like the temperature was about 60 degrees in this passageway on an August weekend. I had ridden through those rocks a couple of times, but I thought, you know, I'd like to do it just one more time and see if I can get a different angle, maybe a better angle. And that is when this happened. What the ever-loving living Sam Hill heck is going on here? There I am on a bicycle, one hand on the handlebars and one hand holding a nine and a half foot tall Insta360 selfie stick, and I meet a car head on. And he wasn't just creeping along either. Well, he scooted over to the right just a little bit and slowed down just a little bit, and I scooted over to my right just a little bit, and a good time was had by all. Obviously, I did live to tell about it, but I must admit my heart began beating just a wee bit faster when I looked up and saw that I was about to meet a car head-on in the narrowest of passageways. So at the other end of this trail is a place called Happy Trails Park. And my goodness, what a happy little place it is, huh? <laughs> if this park was any happier, I think I would just burst into tears of joy. Literally, like, the only thing here is a picnic table and some hitching post to tie your horse to. <laughs> but just beyond the Happy Trails Park is a historic church that has been there for many, many years, obviously. It would be cool to be able to go back in time and just sit on the back pew and listen to the choir sing and the pastor preach back in the day. So what do we think about it? Why should you visit the old railroad grade road? Well, this rocky mountain passageway is enough to sell this trail all by itself. This trail is remote and it does have sort of an unwelcoming feel to it due to all the signs telling you to not trespass and to keep off and to keep out. But if you want to take a seven mile bike ride out and back through some beautiful, unspoiled, non-commercial mountain scenery, the way God intended it to be, you get yourself to Roan Mountain just as fast as you can. Four stars for the old railroad grade road at Roan Mountain, Tennessee. Just make sure to take bear spray and a dog horn. Use the bear spray on the bears, 
and use the dog horn to alert oncoming traffic. 